did it all by itself. Uh, good morning. I'm Ryan from Partnership for Healthier America. And as you may recall from Debbie's first slide in the last panel, that timeline, uh, back in 2010, the Partnership for a Healthier America was launched on the same day that the First Lady announced her Let's Move initiative. Um, announced on the same day, but we are an independent, nonprofit, nonpartisan uh, organization based here in Washington, D.C. And we are honored to have as our honorary chair the First Lady. Our mission at PHA is to improve children's health, to fight the childhood obesity crisis, and we say that our goal each day when we come to the office is to make the healthy choice, the easy choice in all communities with an eye towards those communities most in need. So on this slide um, is a logo soup. And I'm going to walk slowly through each one and tell you no. Our we work directly with the private sector to negotiate meaningful commitments. And so, just in broad brush strokes, I'll I'll give you an overview of what some of these companies have done. Um, for some companies like Dannon, Walmart, Subway, Mars Food, and even Westin Hotels. Their commitment has been to change some of their business practices, to reformulate food, to make healthy food more accessible. For some of the, our partner companies like Nike, Reebok, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Dick's Sporting Goods, and recently Trinity Health, their commitment has been to invest deeply, so significant monetary investments into communities, often to create new places and programs for kids to play or to engage in sports. We've garnered commitments now from over 10% of the nation's hospitals to improve hospital food. Um, for those of us who've had the misfortune of spending much time in a hospital, either with a family member or ourselves, or maybe even employed there, you've, you've experienced the great irony of being in this health-promoting <laughs> institution with often um, tricky food choices. Uh, we have recently launched a convenience store initiative to go directly to so many of those communities in need in rural and urban settings and are working with some of the leaders like Quick Trip and Sheets and other convenience store chains to improve the accessibility and, for and affordability of healthy choices there. Uh, we have now launched a Healthier Campus initiative. We have a number of colleges and universities across the country meeting our Healthier Campus guidelines, which have both nutrition and physical activity principles that they're agree agreeing to meet. And most recently, we are now working with affordable housing developers across the country to incorporate active design principles into the construction and design and management of affordable housing developments. So, I mean, I guess Becky's sort of right. Well, I'll work with anyone. <laughs> but um, we're working with a diverse array of industries and just, frankly, just trying to pull levers wherever we can. Um, so every day it is true that our team is out there meeting with companies and leaders and, a, and an array of sectors trying to figure out how we can work together, how in their lane they can come to the table and, and provide a meaningful commitment to the movement. So as you can see on the slide, we now have over 200 partner organizations. Um, we're really proud of this work, but I think even more important than that number is to, to recognize that these are real commitments, um, that these companies, these organizations have agreed to have verified, and verified by a third-party independent verifier, and to allow PHA to publish the progress annually in our annual report. So a lot, of, a lot of conversations end when, when companies realize that that's what this is all about, that this is not a PR moment. This is a real commitment that will be tracked and verified. I hit the button a little advance. And I just wanted to share that a couple years ago when we took a step back to look at what we had done so far, just in our, in our brief existence, we realized um, if we were honest about it, that most of our commitments, while incredibly meaningful, were on the supply side, um, increasing the supply of healthier choices in communities. But the demand side of the equation was equally important. So within the last couple of years, we have um, really focused some effort into that demand side of the equation. We launched a campaign called Drink Up to promote water consumption and a campaign called FNV that Becky referenced earlier to promote fruits and vegetables. And that's the one where we have been trying to get 
big name celebrities to really step up and support us. I'll, I'll say more. I can. I was going to say more about that, but I'll wait until our panel. Um, and then lastly, I, one of the important things that I think we do at PHI is to bring people together. We do it in small groups. Privately, we'll bring industry CEOs together. We'll have a small group convening with public health advocates and foundations. Um, but I think most important is when we bring people together, cross sector, across perspectives. That is where. That, that's what energizes me. That's where I've seen powerful ideas emerge and some very strange bedfellows linking arms uh, to, to create innovative solutions. Uh, so it gives me faith that we're actually going to have a breakthrough in this crisis. And that's why I was pleased to come today and join you. Elise.